Welcome to another episode of Marketo Chat. Hi, I am Chiranjit Shah from Marketo Chat, and in this video, we will discuss about the program channel and tags. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe to Marketo Chat and don't forget to hit the bell icon. In this way, you will get a notification whenever I upload a new video. By the way, I upload two videos every week. If you see any value in this video, hit like and share video link with your peers and friends. So let's get started. What is channel? In a simple words, the channel is a medium to deliver a campaign like webinar, LinkedIn ads, list import or content syndication campaign. When you create any program in Marketo, you have to select the channel for that particular program. You also have to use a tag if it is mandatory. Channels allow you to organize your reporting on a based on person's interaction with your program. When you create any new channel, you need to select the name of the channel, which all program type it applies to. You can also select if you, whether you want this to be available for reporting or not, if it requires a period cost or not. Then you need to decide the statuses of the program so these are the progression status that person will move from one stage to another stage within your program for instance you have a webinar as your program under the webinar you can have a various status example invitation so first you want to send an invitation to people whom you want to attend your webinar so that could be the first status as a webinar right the second could be if you send them email and they registered for your webinar so your next status is registered the third could be that they attended your webinar and the fourth could be they didn't attend your webinar the first step could be they did not attend uh, your webinar as of now as of now but they attended your webinar on demand so these all are called status or rather progression status in marketer so what are these numbers that you see here these are the steps number so you can put them any number that you want to put like 5, 10, 20, but it has to be in incremental. You can keep the same uh, steps if you want people to roll over, uh, roll back to any of the previous status, but don't do that. You also decide what will be the success for that particular campaign. So for example, if this is a webinar and uh, you see there is a check mark at the attendee so what is the goal of your program so my goal of the program is that person who register for this event should attend if they attend i will consider them as a success if they are no so or they just registered or they didn't respond i will not mark them as a success you can have more than one success for example i can add one more step here as attended on demand and give them a 50 step Hit admin after coming to admin you will see tags in two places one you can select from here the other tag tags option you can see here so let's click any of them after clicking tag it will show you all the available tag that is uh, created in your marketer instance so by default some of these are already created by marketer so let's see what is channels so these are some of the channel that we already have in my marketer instance and uh, you can see like as as we discussed these are email uh, newsletter uh, then our operations we have uh, webinar etc and you also have some tags which are nothing but uh, just just a tag uh, which you can filter out your report based upon so financial year then we have your region could be the one for example you have a different geographic location where your organization does business like EMEA, uh, Asia Pacific, North America so you can build those uh, tags here you can also build your product tag if you use a product tag uh, to bifurcate your products to capture their uh, product of interest so this all can be uh, done here so let's create a channel see how we create a channel in marketer so i will hit the tags and after hitting tag i will see these all values i will hit new channel it will decide what will be our channel type so let's say i want to add a channel that is social paid ads so i will put that name here 
I want it to be applied to default. So I will select default and I can choose whether I want this to be available uh, for reporting. So it could be regardless of period cost, whether I have period cost or not, it will show in your report or normal, which is uh, it will only show if you have a period cost in your program into reports. I can also use a operation that means this is operation program and I don't want it to be appear in any of the reporting. So I can choose any of this. For this demonstration, I will be selecting normal. Now we have to decide upon the steps as we mentioned in a previous video. Uh, as we mentioned in the previous lesson, wherein you have to decide the status or the progression status of the each channel. So let's say I want first uh, person to be a member and I want to give them another status of open, email open and uh, I, I you know because these are the paid leads who have come and we have sent an email to them i want it to be considered a success so i can hit this uh, success if i want i can add more step from here but let's say we can say uh, email collect and i give them here 30 points and yeah i can also mark them as success if i wish to and hit create create a channel tag so where it is created i will go here and it should be there under social so right here right uh, if i do not want any if i want to remove any of this uh channels status i can just click this cross and it will remove from here uh, i don't need this so i will delete that from my instance so now let's create a tag so i will hit new and i will hit this button new tag type and here i can give a name of the tag so let's say i want to call it product of interest and then i can give the value to choose uh, for this tag so i want to say let's say i'm just creating this uh, values here these all are fictitious values so let's create a b c and done then i have to decide in which all product it will apply to so let's say I, it will apply to default uh, program i can choose if it is going to apply to an, any of the other available tags let's say i want this to be available for events and webinar and engagement program as well so now i will get create if you want this to required you can hit that uh, uh, check box there and it will be required so now go to your poi the tag that we created and these are the option that that is available right so so i will be giving you a live demo of how to create a webinar program or email sign program in which i will show you how to use this channel and uh, tags thank you mm -hmm.